All right, this is what we've got working for us today. We've got our nice 14 inch mangrove snapper, couple of mullet here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I picked up a couple of boxes of pankos and I've still got some oil left over. So I think I'm gonna just do some uh, panko breaded fried uh, fish here. That'll go well with this mullet and just change it up on the mangrove as well. So what we're gonna do is to uh, flay these out and just have some nice clean bonus fillets. So let's get started. All right, so the mangrove, I'm just going to basically outline it using my knife. And just go around all the edges and all the way through and then just cut out the filet. <laughs> beautiful boneless fillets. All right, for the mullet, you're just gonna cut behind the fins there. Take our knife, twist it, and run it right along the spine. Take off the fillet there. Other side. Get the scales off the knife. There we go. And I'm just going to take the flay off. There we go take off the rib bones. Take as much blood line off as possible. And there we go, our nice mullet fillets, ready to be fried. And there we go, we've got our two nice boneless mangrove snapper fillets, and then our 13 inch mullet fillets, all ready to go. All right, let's get cooking. We've got our beautiful mangrove snapper fillets, and our cast net mullet fillets there, all ready to go, nice and boneless. Today we're gonna to be using some Penko, which is basically Japanese style breadcrumbs. So we're gonna be frying them with that. So let's get going. All right, we've got our food station all set up. Uh, we've got our fillets. We've got an egg batter, which is basically just a scrambled egg. And then we've got our penko crumbs laid out. Uh, normally I would also have some flour. Um, basically I would go uh, fillets, egg, flour, egg, and then the panko. But we're in food conservation mode, so we're just going to go just these three ingredients. Uh, just going to dip it into the egg mixture. 
And that's just basically going to help it adhere. Give it a coating there. And just leave it to the side. And we're just going to repeat that process until everything is coated. And then the secret to this is to let it dry out. Don't go straight into the uh, fryer. Uh, let it air out a bit. Dry up a bit. Let that uh, coating adhere. And that way it'll stick better when it's in the fryer. Okay, these are all prepped and ready to go. So we're just going to still give it a few minutes to kind of adhere. So while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and make our tartar sauce. Okay, for our tartar sauce, we're going to start with some mayonnaise. There we go. Got some spicy brown mustard. Any mustard will do. Oops. Go. A little bit of lemon juice. Need some relish. And some capers. A little bit of salt. And some pepper. Give it a nice mix up. And we've got our sauce. All right, we've got our platter ready to go. And we're just gonna do a couple at a time so it doesn't reduce the heat too fast. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking for the brownness once it's brown, flip it, get it browned, and we're done. All right, let's flip these guys. Nice and browned up. All right, I think we're good. Oh, a little bit longer down there on the bottom. This one's doing, that one's doing good. So I'm gonna take these guys off. Put them on the cooling rack. All right, there you go. We've got our two mangrove snapper fillets and then our four mullet fillets. All ready to go. So let's plate these guys up and get to eating. All right, let's plate this up. I'm going to go with a crispy fillet there. Give it a little bit of a tartar sauce top in there. Got to have some lemon. A little bit of sour pickles there. Then for the mullet, we're going to do mullet sliders there. A little bit of top in there. some capers and a little bit of salad yeah with a little bit more salad to give us something crunchy in the middle there all right there we go all played up ready to go nice refreshing spring summer fish feast so we've got our mangrove snapper, mullet sliders, and a couple of sides to kind of spice things up. All right, let's get to feasting. Let's 
Some nice crunchy mangrove snapper filet. Mm. Nice crispy crust. Oh, so good. And we've got our mullet sliders. Hmm. A little pickle. Hmm. Some lime seltzer water. Oh, so good. <laughs> all right, there you go. That's how we do it. It's all about the mullet, not just for bait, for eating too. All right, uh, right now's the time to start focusing on those mullet. There's tons of them in town. Uh, everything eats them. Uh, I'll be using them pretty much all the time for primarily the tarpon, uh, sharks, kudos on the flats, and then the back country. Take them out to the reef. You can use them live, just trolling them in the blue water, or use those chunk baits and drop them down and catch a bunch of mangroves, groupers, snappers, everything will eat those. Uh, you could butterfly them, uh, reverse butterfly them. So you just have the, the flays flopping off of the, uh, the head and body there, and then drop those down to the bottom and hold on for a big grouper. So a lot, a lot of uses for them. Uh, learn to throw your cast net and your bait golden. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Oh yeah, some all about the bait stuff. I'm on the way to the post office. Order before noon. Your stuff goes out same day. United States Postal Service, so pretty quick deliveries. Uh, I've got packages going out to Richard in Miami. Uh, Brandon in Hawaii. Robert in Michigan. We've got Marshall in Bakersfield, California, Richard in Miami, and Neil in Honolulu. So your stuff is on the way.